Good morning. Today is October 17th, 2016. I'm Camden Buckman. And I'm Tyler Schallert, and this is your Windsor High School Video Bulletin. Keep up with Windsor High School happenings. See photos from Spirit Week and beyond. Get the latest news and be kept in the loop. Windsor High School updates on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram is your social media connection to all things Windsor High. Reminder, if you are taking the PSAT this coming Wednesday, October 19th, check-in begins at 7.30 a.m. in the large gym. Latecomers will not be seated. Students must have their student ID or photo ID in order to test that morning. Here's a Windsor High School spotlight on the Soul Corps. The vision of this core is to teach students about personal responsibility, community responsibility, and global responsibility by using food and poverty as our entrance into those topics. So one of the things we we're taking on is establishing a school garden here where students can be involved in the planning, the um, growing and the harvesting of food. Food science is unique in that it's a um, lab science, it's a physical science, it counts as a UC and CSU approved chemistry, um, but it's also a career technical education class. So in addition to learning about um, science and engineering practices and chemistry of food. Something that is unique about VA Soul is that students are more hands-on and we're learning a lot about the environment and how to live a more sustainable life. We're more involved in the community, I think, than other cores are. Um, we're also learning about um, some of the career opportunities around um, the industry of food. And living here in Sonoma County, there is so many abundant opportunities for students. Um, so it's, it's really an exciting course. Cash for College and Financial Aid Workshop. There is still space available for the FAFSA and California Dream Act application workshop on Thursday evening, October 20th at 6.30 in the theater. There are programs for both English and Spanish-speaking families. College visits this week. Universal Technical Institute, October 18th at 11 a.m. Recently, Miss Gray Hand's photography class created Camera Obscura. Here's more. It's a really great hands-on way for students to understand how a camera works. A camera obscura is a darkroom with an aperture that projects an image of an external object onto a screen placed inside. A few years ago I started doing this with my students, just converting a room into a camera obscura so they could see it. And there is this really cool kind of moment of, oh my god, it really works. It's an exciting thing for students to do and so much of digital photography is not hands-on. So the chance to do this with you guys and um, let you sort of see it for real uh, was, I, I couldn't pass that up. I feel like everybody that, that was in our group really had a good connection and since it was such a small group we worked together really well and we communicated really well. I'm actually pretty satisfied with the outcome of it because we were able to bring everyone else's ideas into the project rather than just having one person doing it all on their own. The process of finding a room was tricky because it really has to be a room that's not used on a regular basis. I thought about using our existing classroom, this space here, but with the height of the windows and all of the different light sources we would have to seal up, it would have been quite a trick to do. Not to mention the fact that it makes the room difficult to actually work in um, once it's a camera obscura. You really just need something to black out the light, so opaque black plastic or black cloth works and you'd need tape and the aperture is fairly easy you just need a, a clean round circle. I think in the future it'd be fun to combine with the physics classes and let them do the calculations to determine exactly how big based on the size of the room how big the aperture could be because that's really a physics equation. Here's a look back at the homecoming game.
Monica Pont, and, and this, this is Sports. Mandatory boys soccer meeting in K106 at lunch on Tuesday. Anyone who cannot attend must check in with Mr. Richards or Mr. Sandrina. Also, soccer open fields for everyone at the stadium at 7 p.m. on Tuesday and Thursday this week. Home games this week at Windsor High. Good luck to the girls' golf team who play today in the NBL Championships. Tuesday, October 18th, 4 p.m., JV Girls Soccer versus Monty. At 6 p.m., Varsity Girls Soccer versus Monty. Thursday, October 20th, 3.30 p.m., Varsity Girls Tennis versus Cardinal Newman. Get out there and support your Jags! That's it for this week. Be good, study hard, and have a great week. Good luck to the girls' golf team. Duh. <laughs> Still rolling. <laughs> Damn. Okay, here we go. At 6 p.m., the girls' soccer 